Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Nate's Pink Bookshelf. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel. And as the title says below, this is going to be my Book of the Month and Book of the Month by A unboxing for you guys. And I pretty much just went with one box for this month because it pretty much kind of clashed for me with the YA picks and I just felt like spending money the way that I did, um, if that makes sense. Like, I didn't want to spend $15 twice when I could have just spent $35 for the three books um, that I wanted. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys, but, um, yeah. Morning coffee. But, before I get into my box, for those of you who don't know what Book of the Month or Book of the Month YA is, it is an online book subscription box in which you solely get a hardcover book printed specifically from Book of the Month. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, this entire shelf, I did a tour of my bookshelf, um, but this entire shelf houses all of my Book of the Month YA and Book of the Month books. You guys can see all the Book of the Month logos. These are specifically printed, and they are not your standard um, hardcover height. They are slightly bigger, and the font is a lot bigger as well. It doesn't bother me. I actually do enjoy um, Book of the Month and just how they look. Some people find it annoying, but I don't. But they do specifically print their books um, from their company so they always have book of the month logos on the cover the back and the spine and the actual hard covers are always dual tone colors or dual colors yeah with some um, the book of the month logo all over it um so pretty much you can get a brand new hardcover book a backlisted or a debut novel for $14.99 which is $15 um you can sign up to get your first box for $9.99 just use either my referral or my affiliate link down below both will be down below for book of the month and book of the month YA but um you get one book for basically $15 and you can add up to two additional books at $9.99 a piece so $10 each so you're basically getting one brand new hardcover for $15 two for $25 or three for $35 which I think is a steal because because, you know, you go to Barnes & Noble, you're spending way more money, I'm just saying. But um, they have some really phenomenal books. They also have, like, some classic novels. I know they have two books from Donna Tart. Um, they have Stephen Chabowski's books. They have a lot of great authors. So, as far as, like, the Book of the Month versus Book of the Month YA, Book of the Month is geared towards those adult readers that love their thrillers, suspense, mysteries, contemporaries, um, nonfiction those kind of books they have fantasy novels but a lot of the times they're not a book of the month and i'll explain exactly what a book of the month is in a second but um so that's that so book of the month ya is more so on the ya side obviously but they also have a lot more fantasy novels and me as a fantasy reader i don't care if it's adult or ya i love fantasy so for me that was something that really just sparked my interest i loved it so much um i have some unboxing so you can just click the eye on the screen to go well the eye on the screen on this side to go watch my last double unboxing um for book of the month and book of the month ya but um i personally love book of the month why over book of the month that's just me but um okay so a book of the month basically each month um they pick out five books from their staff and those are the books that you can pick and they will try to mix it up with contemporary romance thrillers uh fantasy they try to mix up the genres now when it comes like i said to book of the month they normally don't have a lot of fantasy books unfortunately but book of the month y8 tends to have at least two or three fantasies on their list um and i mean they have books like they have they had queen of nothing um in january which i didn't get because i already bought my copy of queen of nothing but they had queen of nothing which is awesome they had woven in moonlight with the fire on high wicked fox i mean they have some really phenomenal titles but you pick one of those books that are listed of the five and that is your specific book of the month then you can do your additional add-ons which are the two additional books that you can get and outside of that you can also do swag which is basically like their book moji pens as well as tote bags and they used to have socks but i don't think they have any more socks in stock so i mean that's pretty freaking awesome to me in my opinion but um that's how that works so for book of the month and book of the month YA, i looked at their selections and i normally will stick solely to book of the month ya but book of the month actually had a book that i really wanted well it sounded really good and um i just i needed to place an order because i have it in a minute so i decided to go with that book and then book of the month ya they had two books that i wanted but i ended up just getting it in my book of the month box um to avoid having to spend more money um like i said i spent 35 dollars on this box if i would have did one with book of the month and then one with book of the month ya i think i would have spent more than that if i'm not mistaken um yeah 15 and 15 is 30 
plus 10 I just spent like $40 and I didn't I just mm, no and I already had my credits um, in my account so it just made sense to use my credit so I did um so yeah I am not gonna tell you guys all the other books that they had um, I'm, I'm just not gonna do it today but I will leave all the information down below as well as links uh, if you are interested in book of the month I have a referral link down below and if you are interested in book of the month YA I do have my affiliate link that you can sign up with but um, I do recommend both Again, if you're more so into fantasy and enjoy YA fantasies, I would say stick with YA, um, Book of the Month YA. But here is my Book of the Month box. Really big. And I'm super, super excited to dive in. And I'm like, I'm so, so. When you get your box, your books are wrapped up beautifully. Um, and on the inside of the box, it looks like this. So, yeah. Taking it out. Like I said, I love that they keep the books wrapped up. It's been raining a lot here in Jersey. It's just like raining, raining, raining. There hasn't been any snow, thankfully. But, um, you know, sometimes they leave your packages on the front step. They leave it in the back while it's raining, while it's snowing, and your boxes get wet, your books get wet. But because Book of the Month actually wraps their books up, your books are protected. I love it. So we're just going to pop into this. And like I said, these are all YA reads. Um, two fantasies and a dark contemporary. I actually wish I would have did this with Book of the Month YA just to get the pretty pink bookmark, but it's okay. So with Book of the Month, you do always get a bookmark. Um, this one just says all booked up right now. On the back, it says Book of the Month white, blue and white. That's the color. Um, and then also, as far as like when they put your books together, they always put this cardboard box as well. Um, I said box with this cardboard um, with your books to keep them in tip top shape which I love because again books do come damaged in the mail and the fact that they not only just wrap it but they stick this in there to keep it shape is great so book of the month is really phenomenal with that but these are my beautiful three YA picks right, so this first book is from Jenny Lee it's Anna K a love story this is a early release I'm not sure when this book comes out but it was an early release and I love the pink and blue color scheme it's so pretty so here is the book of the month logo in pink on the spine on the back the actual book itself is going to be blue and white you have the book of the month information in gold here and also on the spine so I just I love the way book of the month books look they're really great I'm just flipping through oh she's really pretty this is her debut YA novel and this is Miss Jenny Lee. That's gorgeous. I really love the model on this cover. She's really gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. But, um, yeah. So, this is going to be a blended mix of Anna Karenina as well as Gossip Girl. I was a major fan of Gossip Girl growing up. Um, I enjoyed the books. I enjoyed the TV show. I didn't watch the entire series, though. I got annoyed at some point. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to read this. So, on the inside flap, it says, Meet Anna K. At 17, she is at the top of Manhattan in Greenwich Society, even if she prefers the company of her horses and dogs. She has the perfect, if perfectly boring, boyfriend, and she has always made her Korean-American father proud, even if he is a bit controlling. As her friends struggle with the pitfalls of teenage life, Anna always seems to sell gracefully above it all. That is, until she meets Alexia Count Ronsky, a notorious playboy, Alexia is everything Anna is not. But he has never been in love until he meets Anna, and maybe she hasn't either. As Alexia and Anna are pulled irresistibly together, she has to decide how much of her life she is willing to let go to be with him. And when a shocking revelation threatens to shatter their relationship, she is forced to ask if she has ever known herself at all. Dazzlingly opulent and emotionally riveting, Anna Kay is a brilliant reimagining of Leo Tolstoy's Timeless love story, Anna Karenina, but above all, it is a novel about the dizzying, glorious, and heart-stopping experience of first love and first heartbreak. So, it sounds like it's going to be cute. On the back, it just says, every happy teenage girl is the same, while every unhappy teenage girl is miserable in her own special way. So, I'm excited to read this. It sounds like it's going to be a dark, cute, YA romance. I have seen Anna Karenina. I have also read a graphic novel version of Anna Karenina, so I'm excited to see how she takes it and spins it into a YA romance. So, we have this. 
Following that, I have a debut novel. This is from Adeline Grace, and it's All the Stars and the Teeth. I actually saw this on um, NetGalley and requested an arc and did get an e-arc of it. But um, this cover just screams everything Little Mermaid to me. Like Dark Little Mermaid. I love it. But um, Book of the Month logo here on the spine, on the back. I love that sword on the back. The cover is going to be dark blue and light blue, book of the month, and on the spine. I think that is gorgeous. But um, before I read any of the information on the inside, I'm going to read the quick take. So it says, dive into bloody battles as a mermaid and a pirate make an unlikely pact to steal some magic and regain a kingdom. This is a fast read. It's first in a series. It's a quest novel and it's action packed, which all sounds extremely epic to me. And this, I really just love the details on this cover. So you have the skull. This looks like a crown. I'm not sure if that's a crown though. But I love the hands holding that. That is gorgeous. Pirate ship and then the mermaid's tail. I, I love this. Um, gorgeous. But on the inside it says she will reign. As princess of the island kingdom, Visidia Amora Montera has spent her entire life training to be High Animancer, the Master of Souls. The rest of the realm can choose their magic, but for Amara, it's never been a choice. To secure her place as heir to the throne, she must prove her mastery of the monarchy's dangerous soul magic. When her demonstration goes awry, Amara is forced to flee. She strikes a deal with Bastion, a mysterious pirate. He'll help her prove she's fit to rule, if she'll help him reclaim his stolen magic. But sailing the kingdom holds more wonder and more peril than Amara anticipated a destructive new magic is on the rise and if amora is to conquer it she'll need to face legendary monsters cross paths with vengeful mermaids and deal with a stowaway she never expected or risk the fate of vistia and lose the crown forever i am the right choice the only choice and i will protect my kingdom so yes i'm excited for this does this have anybody like headers Ooh, that is nice there's a map. I love maps. I just, I love maps. I like that they put this little kingdom thing in the front. So you can learn about all the different, um, islands. So you have the Island of Soul Magic, Elemental, Enchantment, Mind, Time, Rest. Ooh, this sounds like it's gonna be good. I love that header. The little header is just so cute. So that's the crown. So cute. I'm excited to dive into this. I really am. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else here. Yeah, I'm excited to dive into this. Um, we love mermaids. I love mermaids. So, yeah. All right. And the last YA fantasy that I picked up is going to be Ink in the Blood by Kim S. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that name. But this is also another uh, arc that I requested on NetGalley and did get an e-arc of. But I wanted a physical copy. So, Book of the Month logo here in the front. Spine. The back. I love the way this just looked tattooed. Ugh. Gorgeous. It's going to be black Ooh, and like mustard yellow. Book of the Month logo. I love this. All right. This is just giving me Ed Hardy vibes. Like, seriously. On the back, it just says, Bold to the Inklings who cannot escape. Ooh, okay. So, before I read the synopsis, um, it says, Quick take, our dark fantasy dripping with magic, divine tattoo art, and powerful gods. If you like Le Bardugo, you'll like this. So, this is the first in a series. It's magical and it's LGBTQ plus friendly. That's interesting. Okay. All right. So, let's just read. On the front, it says, one performance can change your destiny. Okay. So, on the inside, it says, Celia Sand and her best friend, Anya Bertoni, are inklings for the esteemed religion of Propheta. Using magic, they tattoo followers with beautiful images that represent the divine's will and guide the actions of their recipients. It's considered a noble calling, but ten years into their servitude, Celia and Anya know the truth. Propheta is built on lies. The tattooed orders strip away freedom, and the reverent temple is actually a brutal and torturous prison. Their chance to escape arrives with the rabble mob, a traveling theater troupe. Using their inkling abilities for performance instead of propaganda, Celia and Anya are content for the first time, until they realize who followed them. 
The divine they never believed existed is very real, very angry, and determined to use Celia, Anya, and the rebel mobs, now infamous stage, to spread her deceitful influence even farther. To protect their new family from the wrath of a malicious deity and the zealots who work in her name, Celia and Anya must unmask the biggest lie of all, Propheta itself. That sounds darn good. Like, oh, I just, I love... So is there a map in here? Oh, yes, there is. You could tell this book was, like, freshly printed because some of my pages are stuck together. So I'm just removing some of that off, which is okay. And when you get your Book of the Month books, they're not going to always be, like, perfectly printed, um, which it doesn't bother me. But that map is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love maps. They're just ugh, everything. Oh, and they have it separated by, like, acts. Act 1, okay. Skull for the chapter header. I don't know if that's going to be the case throughout everything, so let's see. If I can find another chapter and see. Um, no, so they switch up. So, chapter 1 had a skull. Where's chapter 2? Chapter 2 has an uh, ink pot. Chapter 3 has a dagger. I just, like I said, I love the cute little things that they throw in books. What is chapter 4? Chapter 4 has a broken mask. Okay. I'm really going to flip through and see if they, like, switch up every other chapter. Chapter 5 has a burning candle. I just want to see if they repeat. Chapter 7. Oh, that's gorgeous. The little moth. So, yeah, so I think they only have seven different ones because chapter eight goes back to the skull. So let's see. Yeah, and then they repeat again. Um, so that is actually freaking awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. I'm excited to read this book. So that is that. So I have two fantasy novels, which we know Sinead loves fantasy. Um, fantasy is my life. And then I have this dark contemporary romance Anna Kay, I love this. It's just going to be a fun read for me. So those are my three picks. Again, all the information will be listed down below as well as Goodreads links to all of these. I'm excited to read these books. Um, I don't even know which one I'm more excited about. Maybe all the stars and the teeth I'm pretty much more excited for. And I just, I love the color on this. But that is that for this video. Um, what I am going to do is I have three pieces of papers here. Because I need to include those into my Book of the Month TBR jar. And if you guys don't know, I try to read at least two Book of the Month books a month. This month for February, I'm actually reading four. I'm on my third one, and then I already completed two. And I have one more book that I do want to read, so I am doing well with that. But I will be adding these three books into my tbr jar for that um and i'm just excited to see how many books i have read i'm actually going to create a document that i can um print out and write in so that i can actually keep track of my ratings on these because even though i enjoy getting books from book of the month i do also want to read the books that i have you know we gotta read them so that is it for this video if you guys have purchased anything for book of the month or book of the month ya let me know down below in the comment section which books do you think i should read um of these three that i got and i will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>